So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do a quick broaching operation that you can do with the trace feature in Fusion 360. So I'm in SOLIDWORKS, but I do have the HSM plugin, which is essentially just the cam section, the cam side of Fusion plugged into SOLIDWORKS. So all the operations that you see here are basically straight from Fusion. Um, so there's some things you might need to do that you will definitely be able to do on your side in Fusion or if you have SOLIDWORKS and if you have the plugin, you can do the same. So essentially what you're gonna wanna do is, well, setting up your origin, you can put it wherever you want, but the tool is gonna be following the center line of whatever drawings you do. So you're gonna have to account for offsets uh, for your tool or your brooch or whatever you're going to be doing. So um, since my key weight is right in the center of the part, I will be drawing, be making drawings on this uh, on the front plane, which is straight through the center of my part. Um, let's say you have a five millimeter brooch, perfect. You can just draw straight on the the uh, the center line. Um, if you have, let's say, a two and a half millimeter brooch, then you're gonna have to do a couple more steps, which I will show you. Or whatever size you have brooch, the same thing can be achieved. So we'll split this in half with the section view and we shall draw on the front view. So what you're gonna wanna do is draw a center line or a reference line and say okay so three millimeters I want my I want my tool to start here right before the keyway starts so three millimeters is perfect and what we're going to do is divide that three millimeters by the step overs so let's say I want a 0 0.05 step over uh, so 3 divided by 0 0.05 equals 60. So we're going to need 60 step overs. So what you're going to want to do is draw a line right down at the end of that 3 millimeters or however far you want it. And you're going to need to define the, the top and bottom because this is where the tool will start. So let's say we want to want the tool to come in from the 5, mil, the five millimeters above our part and we want it to go two millimeters below our part. So now that we know, now that we have defined that, we go to our linear sketch pattern and we put in 0 0.05 for the step over and 60 plus one, we're gonna need to add one for the final, uh, for the final stroke. And that does that, so we know that. Now we're gonna to need to define our, uh, or add the offset of the tool. So I'm gonna be using a 6.32 millimeter um, end mill. In your case, it will be your brooch, but essentially what you're gonna to wanna to do is calculate the center of that tool, from the center of that tool to the end of your brooch, and that will be your offset. So for me, it's just a 6.32 millimeter end mill so I'll add that 6.32 divided by 2 for the center line so that gives me 6.16 so that works so we've uh, set our offset so we have that so that's perfect so what we're gonna do is go into our jobs do a new operation 2d milling and go to trace so we'll choose our tool and here you're gonna obviously wanna put the spindle speed to zero and do your thing and you know the, uh, figure out what you want, what rate you want it to plunge at. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. And what you're gonna wanna do here is instead of selecting one at a time, there's a nice trick that we can do is where we can select the first one, which will be our entry point, and we can just go straight to our sketch and select the rest we can hop into this uh, linking um, tab here, and then for our lead in, we can just put one millimeter here, which essentially will take the tool from, uh, when the tool reaches the bottom, it'll step over one millimeter. 
and rise back up. So we can just hit enter and there we go. So the tool will start here, come in, come back around, go to the next section, come in, come back around. And this is what it looks like when we play it in simulation. So very quick and easy way to set up a broaching operation. Um, so this edge here will be the broach edge. So now let me show you guys how to do, let's say you, ha you don't have a five millimeter broach and you only have a two and a half millimeter broach. Well, that's very simple as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide that. So let's say you have a two and a half millimeter brooch. Again, it's going from the center line. So let's say five millimeter brooch going from the center line here. All we have to do is reference geometry plane and then offset half of the width of the tool. So in this case, it would be 1.25 millimeters for a two and a half millimeter brooch. So same thing. Um, you would do the same offset, draw everything out. In my case, I can just sketch on this. I'll just convert the entries straight onto there. Um, if you want, you can you know draw it out. So we've converted the entries there. And that will be your first operation, which will go two and a half millimeters, and then the same thing on the other side, you will have to basically mirror what you're doing on one side to the other to get the full five millimeters. So again, we'll offset, we'll flip the offset. We will sketch on that plane. We can just take that same sketch, convert it, and we're good to go. So we'll go back in. We have our, our offsets for the brooch. We will do a trace operation. Again, select our first our first um, point where of entry. Then we shall select the rest of them. Go into the lead. You can set this out wherever you want. I just set it at one millimeter, and boom, right there. And again, we'll add another trace we will go to the second one select the rest of them set our lead in and lead out to one millimeter and there you go now if we do stock simulate on this obviously the tool your tool will be different but just showing here that it will run through the first cycle I'll pause it here It'll run through the first cycle and then it will start the second cycle for your second offset so th this this is just an example of if you want to do a five millimeter key weight but you have like a 2.5 millimeter brooch so yeah pretty cool so it would save a lot of time uh, uh, for some people I, I didn't find any videos like this on online so that I'd share with you guys here. Anyways, that's pretty much that.